after a year's preliminary study, practical research began in 1977 on the so-called guide dog robot for the blind. The first stage was completed in 1983. The purpose of this guide dog robot project is to establish technologies for a robot capable of leading a blind individual through an obstacle-free path to the point of destination and to solve the problems of navigation by mechanical means. What is being pursued here is the technology for the navigation of the robot by correlating the environment the robot sees with this sensor to an environmental map that is programmed inside the robot and the technology that will communicate to the blind person the information the robot has gained. We have analyzed the actual functions of the guide dog and have developed the pinch post and technology necessary for the construction of the guide dog robot. This is the fourth test hardware, Maildog Mark IV. We have so far made four test hardwares to demonstrate the feasibility of our principles and ideas. This is the test hardware Mark I. The prototype mechanism is a front wheel driven and steered type adopted for the later test hardwares. The function of guiding the master by the harness of an actual guide dog is replaced by using a location measuring ultrasonic triangulation system. The transmitting element is placed on the belt of the master and two receiver elements are attached to the rear of the robot and the position of the master is measured in real time by triangulation method. The speed of the robot is controlled so that it coincides with that of the master. The distance between the blind person and the robot remains constant. If the blind person strays to the left or right of the safety zone indicated by the robot, it gives a warning. For demonstration purposes, a miniature lamp flickers to indicate when the blind person goes off course. Normally, guide cables or metal tapes are used to guide the vehicle. Here, a new method is proposed. We input the robot with a map with information about intersections and other important points. The error between an internal representation on the map and the actual environment is corrected by simple markers called landmarks, which are placed at main locations, such as intersections. As the robot approaches the landmark, it begins to detect it, and the steering control is directed towards the marker correcting any errors made along the route. The feasibility of this method was demonstrated by the Mark II robot. All functions which were realized with the Mark II are incorporated in the test hardware Mark III. The Mark III is 84 centimeters long, 40 centimeters in total width, and 72 centimeters high. It weighs slightly less than 66 kilograms. One of the advantages of using a map is that the master is guided automatically to the destination. This shows the method of determining the course to the destination. The robot travels by considering the various possible parameters of the course, for example distance, time required, and number of turns, and makes one final choice for the course to be taken. The technique of producing the master map for the robot becomes very important. Here you can see how the map for the robot is automatically produced by detecting the dark lines indicating the streets and recognizing the intersections on a visual map. In order to make the method of guiding a blind person using landmarks more reliable, a visual sensor is also used. This shows the Mark II mounted with the visual sensor. By using a mirror, the distance range of the CCD camera can be changed, 
and by rotating the camera, the edge of the road can be detected. These functions are utilized for the control of travel along the course. This shows the course of the Mark II being controlled by the information supplied by the visual sensor. The trapezoid region indicates the range of the visual sensor, and the camera is swung. The mirror changes angle and detects the edge of the road, so that it's able to move along a complicated course. The second function that's required of the dog is to detect dangerous obstacles in the blind person's way and to be able to react with flexibility. For this reason, from Mark III on, the obstacles are detected by ultrasonic waves. This is an experiment conducted by the Mark III. Here, a person walking in front of the robot is moving rather slowly, creating an obstacle which the robot tries to keep at a constant distance. The principle of the system is explained by using the array sensor of the Mark IV. The array sensor has a transmitting element in the center with the receiving elements on either side. The waves reflected from the obstacle are detected by the receivers and the results of multiple measurement triangulation are averaged out in order to obtain the direction and distance of the obstacle. This shows an experiment where the array sensor is turned towards the obstacle according to the results of measurement of the obstacle detected. Here the test hardware Mark IV is running while detecting the obstacle. By rotating the sensor section, more detailed information about the obstacle's shape can be obtained. We've tried to develop a new guidance system by using natural landmarks such as building walls in place of the artificial landmarks. The idea is to expand our guidance system using landmarks and the robot map which was achieved by the Mark III. This new guidance system is a more general method in the sense that it makes use of established environmental objects. The new trajectory is determined by the robot after surveying the walls at established intervals to correct the errors made along the course. In order to effectively guide the blind person and provide the necessary information to cope with obstacles, it's essential to communicate and to exchange information between the person and the robot. In the case of the Meldog system, skin sensation by electrical stimulus is utilized. Depending on how far the blind person goes off course, the feedback system emits varying degrees of electrical stimulus. Further studies are planned to provide the blind person with more detailed environmental information.